Welcome to the Matt Lagore Show. I'm Matt Lagore. I'm your host, and this is the Matt Lagore Show. The Matt Lagore Show is about being an entrepreneur. It's also about business, and mostly it's about inspiration. I think that uh, when it comes to being an entrepreneur, entrepreneurs do what they do for inspiration. We all need inspiration in our life. I think that in this day and age we live in, there is so much negativity and there's so much to bring you down that uh, we have to compensate for that. And my plan is to encourage people to be an entrepreneur. Now, an entrepreneur kind of sounds like doing business. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. It doesn't necessarily have to be your own business. Entrepreneurial is like a self-starter and doing what your purpose is. I think that a lot of us lack uh, the purpose in life or we lose it from time to time. Uh, Being an entrepreneur can feel very lonely. Uh, You can feel as if you're by yourself. So that's why you have to surround yourself with like-minded people who are up to the same thing as you. And that's what I try and do. And that's why I started this show. I wanted to share with you like-minded people like myself who are entrepreneurial, who do their own business, and who have very good purpose and vision. And today, I have my guest with me. Her name is Marika Grantham. Hi, how are you? Marika is from Wakefield, Massachusetts. She's married. She has two boys, 11 and 13. Uh, She is a uh, esthetician and makeup artist. She's been that for the last 10 years. She's also a psychotherapist for the last 20 years. Uh, And so she really does wear a lot of hats, but most of all, she is an entrepreneur. So um, Marika, why don't you tell us a little bit just about you, what you do right now, what your your business is. Thank you, Matt, uh, for having me on this show. I'm so excited to share that with you. Um, My company is called Time You Shine. And as you heard from Matt, the journey is kind of long. I am a clinician, psychotherapist for over 20 years, but I try to build a system in a place and company that offers so many services that uh, we can we can customize the care for people that are coming to us. I love what you said about entrepreneurship. I love what you said about surrounding yourself with positive people, but not everybody can do that. And that's mm-hmm. when they can come to see us. All right. So you are a one-stop service for yeah. people to uh, make themselves look pretty, right? Exactly. Yes. I want them to feel pretty, but it's not just about look pretty, but it's also how they feel about themselves. Right, right. Well, you um, didn't let me finish. I was yeah. going to get into that. Oh, that was my nice. next thing. <laughs> so you're going to make some people look pretty, but not yeah. just externally, but internally, mm-hmm. and help mm-hmm. them find their purpose, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did I, did I yes, do a good job? Yes, that's correct. That's All exactly right. what it is. Uh, as a psychotherapist, I see a lot of people that are probably successful in their life and in their profession, but they do not feel good about themselves. Yeah. As an esthetician, I see that also when I apply the makeup on a woman, she might feel like she looks beautiful, but she might not feel beautiful inside, mm-hmm. and she has a lot of doubts about how it looks on her. She might have doubts about her skin. She might have doubts about if her eyes are big enough. And this is where I come in place because we want to help people to really feel beautiful, as you said, but that's where the name Time You Shine is coming into place. I always felt that when people come and enter the room, within a few seconds you can feel how they feel about themselves. Mm -hmm. They project that to the world and to the universe. So what is here inside in the core of their life and heart and mind also project into how they appear. And this is where I wanted to offer more services uh, not just apply the makeup, not just work as an esthetician, but also go tier by tier to help them feel about the good feel feel good about themselves, uh, to feel that they are strong when mm-hmm. they enter to the room to make presence, when they enter difficult situations to make presence, uh, when they have a hard time to fall asleep to feel fall asleep and the sleep is restful for them, and so we offer meditations, we offer. Uh, image, we offer makeovers, we offer personal training to work on a posture mm-hmm. and weight, we offer health and wellness, we offer massage therapist, we offer acupuncture, we offer nail, te- nail technician, we offer personal shopping and really makeover of everything and then the beauty and skincare and anti-aging. All right, good. So. Time mm-hmm. You Shine, mm-hmm. and the website is timeyoushine.com. Mm-hmm. So if anybody wants to 
uh, know a little bit more about that, they can go to timeyoushine.com. Uh, so, Marika, I think that a lot of people probably want to know a little bit more about you because you have such a beautiful accent. Oh, it's very <laughs> thick, right? <laughs> so, what? Where? Where are you from originally? So, All right, don't I... tell me. I want to guess. Okay. All right, you're not Russian. No. Right. You're not Ukrainian. Mm -mm. All right, actually, I already know. Why don't you tell everybody? Okay, so uh, I was born in a country at that time called Czechoslovakia. Uh, for people in uh, New England, Zdeno Chara, capital, uh, you know, captain mm -hmm. of Bruins is from my country. He is from Trenčín. Okay. Um, so I was born there, but I'm also interesting mixture because in the country I was with nationality of Hungarian. Um, my parents spoke in Hungarian language in between them, which was very natural. My mom learned to speak Slovak when she was 12 years old. Um, and I grew up in a communist era at that time. Yeah. Um, we, have a revol we had a revolution when I was 17, so I was on a third class of the high school, which is for us, I don't know how it's called here, school system is slightly different. So I was almost adult when we had the revolution and we sent uh, Russian troops and tanks back home. What was that like? Was that was that a happy time for you? Or was it a, an unstable time? Um, so I grew up in a family of university professor of psychology, um, and he was also what you can say politic prisoner yeah. of the country. He uh, wasn't able to publish uh, at some point because of his political beliefs. Um, Socialist Party mm -hmm. at that time didn't view that very well if you speak up your mind and he did that in 1969 when Russian tanks came and um, they took away some professors mm -hmm. uh, and my mom was teacher and um, I will tell you Matt like when we had the revolution when the process happened it was called Velvet Revolution and the students and nurses were the first force that came out to the streets. So I was there, we actually left school, imagine that high school in the slippers, on a main square and were demonstrating against the system and regime. Mm -hmm. So it was a very exciting time, very yeah. exciting. Very exciting, yeah. a, a, a good exciting. Unbelievable, right? yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. All the nation was very united. And I wanna pass this message to you here in America the value of freedom is so unbelievable. Um, and for me to be able to experience that in my life, it's one of the messages that I can always share to my children and the people here because you don't realize how valuable freedom is unless you lose it. You know? Yeah. So, or you're fortunate. You never, now, now, you didn't really have it, right? So mm -hmm. from, from birth to 17, you really were kind of like, mm -hmm. it was dictated to you yes. what your life yeah. was, what you could have, what right? What you can say. I would not be allowed to attend the university if revolution didn't took a place. Really? Because yeah. every year uh, we would have to fill this questionnaire and one of the first major questions were if your family members and your parents were members of party, mm -hmm. which none of mine were. And that was immediately done deal for your future. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah. you're right. I think that I know myself, I've only known uh, abundance in my mm -hmm. life, really. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and when I say abundance, I, I'm not saying like I would come from a very wealthy family. But living in America, mm -hmm. you don't know anything but abundance. Mm -hmm. There's supermarkets with, with aisles and aisles of food. Mm -hmm. uh, there's mu as much clothing as you want. You can have anything you want. Mm -hmm. And matter of fact, all you have to do is sign your name and they'll give you money to go buy it as long as you say you'll pay it back. Mm -hmm. So we really like, I always uh, it, it kind of, I, I say that to people, is we don't know anything but abundance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and like wh where, where you came from, the food was not like as when you were younger. It was the food as abundant. Like, did you have supermarkets like we have? Yes, we did. We did. But um, it's not so much about amount and abundance of the things. It's more about what you could say. Yeah. Um, uh, you can say and speak up your mind. Yeah. At that time, you had to watch who do you share your opinions with. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people were secretly involved with, with secret police mm -hmm. uh, that will be reporting on you. So um, we had the books that we knew we should not read. Uh, we shared the tapes of the musician that immigrated and fled the country in 1968, but we still want to carry the message. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people couldn't go and visit because if they immigrated, they couldn't come back for weddings or funerals. So it's very different. You were dictated where you could go. If you want to leave the country, you will have to request for permission. 
to travel mm -hmm. to neighbor country. And Bratislava, where I am from, it's actually surrounded by two another states because we are by Austria and Hungary. That's why the population is very mixed and trilingual by the nature. But you would have to ask if you could go there. Yeah. And you were permitted the only amount of money to take with you so you cannot buy something big. It was very, very regulated. And you will be checked on the a, on a, on a borders and they will take you for personal check. What is happening now with the ISIS and security, it's nothing compared to what it was happening at that time, I will tell you that. Wow. Okay. So you really do have an appreciation for what we have oh, here. Yeah. So now, how long have you lived here in the United States? I've been here for 16 years. 16 years. You moved here. And when you came here, did you, did you know what it was going to be like? Did you have an idea? I had a slight idea, but I didn't have the fully perception of what will happen. Yeah, I came totally alone with one suitcase. Really? Uh, I have to share that uh, I was very anxious. Yeah. Uh, my former uh, boss from psychiatry that I worked at, um, he actually suggested me to go for the job interview, which I went into. I turned the opportunity down first and then um, they revisited. So I said, it's a calling. I listened to the messages. So I meant to come. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. Wow. Okay. So now uh, let's fast forward. Here you mm -hmm. are. All yeah. right. So you're a, you're a, a certified psychotherapist. Yes. Right? All right. Matter of fact, uh, you actually train people to become, to be psychotherapists, yes, right? Yes, I am I'm trainer of psychotherapy. Okay. And uh, you're also a licensed esthetician and makeup artist. Yes. Uh, you are very much an entrepreneur. I mean, that's how I met you. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you wear a, a lot of hats. You do a lot of things. Um, but now, a purpose, like your purpose for doing all this stuff, obviously... We all need money, right? We mm -hmm. all need money. If we want to, you know, that's the way the world yeah. you know, we work on money. But yeah. now, what would you say like a purpose is? Like your, what is your purpose? What makes you get up in the morning? Okay, so obviously, when I become a psychotherapist, there is this need to help people. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's a message. What I carry in this life and in the presence, um, I want to help people, and I want to help people to really improve their life. Entrepreneurship is very tied up to that. In psychotherapy, I was doing it, but I got really frustrated with the ceiling of a pay mm -hmm. that no matter where you are at, you are limited and you can only make so much. Right. Um, so it dictates how much I can, I can earn. Mm -hmm. No matter how trained I am, no matter how good I am, I can only make so much money. So when I looked at the different venues and opportunities, I was, I was looking for the way to find out how I can supplement my income, but also how I can earn more income. Um, the beauty and anti-aging was very natural. I always loved makeup. I always loved to put the things on me. I always loved to put things on people. And I always loved to dress up. So then fashion was another, another tier and I always made clothes, I always knitted, and I always had the ideas of designing clothes, and I always was pushing the envelope a little bit with that, and maybe it's because of my European background, because it's a little bit different market there, and also definitely different fashion. Um, but the opportunity that I was introdu introduced to was very close to, to everything that I wanted to do anyway. And so I started with makeup artistry and working with, uh, with a makeup brand called Motives by mm -hmm. Lauren Reidinger and Motives for Lala. And then as a makeup artist, you obviously see when you apply the makeup on people, what is the canvas, how their skin look like. And you can only do so much with the bride and bridal application if her skin is not prepped for that. Yeah. So now, obviously, I am over 40, you can tell, guys. So now I was thinking, how can I look better when I do that? Because this is all also a very competitive market. You want to look good when you work with the beauty industry. Mm -hmm. And I was looking into anti-aging. So skincare come very natural um, as well. It's part of my business. I offer very good, com uh, you know, good uh, skincare products, but I wanted to know more about skin as well. Now I'm aging. And I wanted to know how I can advise clients more. So I had another service and I went to school. And there is never late to go to school, guys. Like, honestly, wherever you can stretch your brain and learn something else and add a skill set, do it. Because it's never too late. I still go to school. I want to know more mm -hmm. and more deep. So, um, you know, give yourself that credit and time to do that. I think it's really very well paid off. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. That's an excellent point that it's never too late. Yeah. I think a lot of people get... 
we it's easy to get hung up on that i'm too old yeah i've waited too long i have to just stay where i am i have to just no. hold on to what i have no uh one of my favorite uh topics or people i like to give as that example mm. is uh Harlan Sanders or Colonel Sanders. Mm -hmm. He didn't start Kentucky Fried Chicken until he was 65 yeah. years old. Yeah. All right. And he had he had his greatest success from retirement age to when he died, and he yeah. worked right till when yeah. he died. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. It's never too late. Mm -mm. So time to time you shine. Mm -hmm. Time you shine dot com. You uh, have a place up in Beverly mm -hmm. at in the Cumming uh, Center. The Cumming Center in Beverly. And if you want to know more about that, go to timeyoushine.com. Um, so why don't we just, I want you, I asked you to bring your three favorite products mm -hmm. because you're an esthetician. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, the anti-aging mm -hmm. is something that there isn't anybody who doesn't want to know mm -hmm. a little bit more about mm -hmm. that, whether it's a woman or a mm -hmm. man. So I asked you to bring your three favorite products. Why don't you show them to us and just tell us quickly what they do. Okay, so this is very exciting, Matt. Thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. So, as I said, it's all start from within. Yeah. Um, so I brought a product that is from line called Isotonics. Uh, it's called OPC3. This product in particular helps to scavenge all the free radicals. So it's actually help with your blood oxygenation to be improved. Uh, free radicals are everywhere. We eat them, we breathe them, we are radiated on them. By the way, as a skincare specialist, I want to tell you, 10% of your skin aging comes from the fluorescent light. 10% of aging comes from fluorescent light. Of your skin. Yeah. So any day you are in an office, we tend to have a habit to have a lights on even when there is a daylight out. My question to you, will you have your lights on when you are at home during the day? No. So shut them down, be mm -hmm. by your computer if you have to, but that's one of the things. Uh, but OPC3, um, and I have ADD, you can tell from jumping off my thoughts, guys. Um, OPC3 is the product that helps you to scavenge all those free radicals. By doing that, you are actually eliminating the reproduction of the cells that are not healthy. It's really important because reproduction of unhealthy cells then leads to diseases and cancer eventually. So you want to really improve the flow of oxygen in your skin. All right. So, okay, so this improves, this, uh, this will improve you internally, right? From the inside out. But also skin improved because skin is one of the largest organs we have, yeah. so. And, and how is this taken? So you basically fill this little tiny cup that is on the top with the powder. This is powder. You mix it with the water up to this line. Now, this is really important in isotonic. So when you drink it, you get 90 to 95% absorbency within 5 to 10 minutes on an empty stomach. Before you brush your teeth, before you do anything, just mix it up. Then cook your coffee, do your shower, and drink coffee afterwards. Um, but you will really have that going to your bloodstream, and this is closest to the IV you can go. Yeah, right. And it's going to help you with so many issues. Um, and you will feel better. That's the bottom line. You will just fight the influence of the radicals and exposure in a more natural way that you can do. Also an excellent um, uh, anti-inflammatory. Absolutely. I, Absolutely. I take, I take that myself and every day. inflammation is a really, really big issue these days. All right. So what's next? Okay. So these products, I will talk about them together. Okay. Um, so this is the line called Lumiere de Vie. Uh, it's actually all natural line. And I want to talk about why it's important to use natural products. When a special events, we can put some foundations that are not that good or products that are not that good, but on a daily basis, we really absorb by our skin. So what do you put on your skin? And as you can see, face is a big portion of your body. When you apply the product that is not natural and have all the preservatives and fillers and binders and other ingredients that are in the cosmetic industry, unfortunately, um, you, are, you absorb that into your bloodstream, no doubt. So when you do this daily, you want to treat your skin like it's your castle, it's your body. So you apply the serum, this is serum concentrate. Um, it's very, very like a silky, very soft. It absorbs extremely fast into your skin. But I will not go without this product all year long. This is really something that you want to do. Serum gums on your skin. I, I will show you. It has a little bit of shine. Within a few minutes, you will see it will be all in. And then you top it up with the Super Cream. Uh, Super Cream from Lumiere de Vie line. It's actually not only giving you moisture and protection, 
but it also brightener. And that's another thing, because of free radicals, because of fluorescent lights, because of UV rays. We ended up, and sun tanning, of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. don't even talk about tanning beds, please, 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 don't go there, don't go there. Um, when you are on a sun, you end up with hyperpigmentation on your skin. And that's not just in a form of freckles, it's in a, a form of blotches. If a woman is pregnant, she will have the same issue, you know. Uh, she may form the mask after um, um, exfoliation, your skin is sensitive. Uh, Super cream will actually help with all those issues. Uh, your skin will literally become alive. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually like radiated and uh, radiant. Radiant, yeah. radiant. Radiant, thank yes. you. And um, uh, I am at school, one of the oldest classmates, and when they clean my face, my classmate asks, what do you do, your skin glow? And it's really not about the shimmer that we use these days in the cosmetic industry. It really is about that your skin is healthy and happy and it shows. Yes. So. Okay, so healthy skin. Healthy skin starts from the inside out. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have a serum and then we have a... Uh, Super cream. Super cream. All right. Yeah. Those are Marika's three favorite products. If you want to know more about those, go to timeyoushine.com. Uh, you can get the links for them there. Um, all right, so we've, uh, we've, we've, we know where you're from, uh, mm -hmm. we know what you do, mm -hmm. we know your purpose and everything. So what would you say to, uh, and I always like to kind of finish the interview with like, what would you say to inspire somebody? Because there's lots of people, mm -hmm. lots of people. I think everybody really wants to be an entrepreneur, but they mm. might be a little scared and they mm -hmm. don't know what to do. Mm. They're afraid of failure. Right? They're mm. afraid of rejection, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think everybody's afraid of rejection, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, what would, you know, what kind of advice would you give somebody who may be just a little bit stuck or even a lot stuck? Well, are you asking about like how to become entrepreneur or how to deal with being entrepreneur? First, mm -hmm. about being an entrepreneur because I think there's lots of people that would like to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, they would like to have their own business. Mm -hmm. Um, they would like to be inspired a little bit. Yeah. So I am very fortunate because the business I become part of that led me to found the Time You Shine offered me a lot of support. Yeah. Um, I think you want to find out where is your best fit? Where is your best fit with the people that approach you or you contact or you are inspired by? You really want to find out where you can get most growth as well. I always look at the who can support me, who can mentor me, who can uh, show me the way how to do things the right way. Because don't forget, I went from being expert in my field, and I mean expert, to become a newbie and lost in like all these new things that I'm doing with the accent in an area where I have no network whatsoever, yeah. you know, no, no, don't know nobody, everybody I meet is a stranger. And in a way I made it my advantage because then where your first impression is so important. And so me as a Time You Shine owner, I can help people to look that path by giving them advice, find out more about themselves. I can help them analyze what are their interests, what are their skill sets. We can use techniques and tests and, you know, uh, profile and then also help them to find the confidence to make that first step. I think it's really important that you are not afraid. It's like a dating, you know, like you really ask the girl out and she will say yes or no and that's it. But you will not want to be alone just because two of them said no. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? You keep looking. And with the businesses and your opportunities, it's very similar. You need to find out who is that right match, what's that good marriage for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I want to just go back to this. You, you, you yeah. took your what you thought was like your, um, your weakness, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or where, where you were the most vulnerable and you made mm -hmm. it your strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, what did you do? Like what was it that you did that made I it? I will tell you what it is. I really dress for success. Mm -hmm. And that's why I help people with clothing and that's why I design clothing. Everything on me today, it's Michael Kors. Yeah. But I'm dressed under $100 right now. But people will think I'm dressed for $500 yeah. maybe. Yeah. Everything I purchased in Marshalls uh -huh. or TJ Maxx, I do my diligence, I go through the products and take time, I try it and then I put it on layaway, give it time to think if I really need it. <laughs> this is like really a woman's tricks I'm telling you, my husband will kill me. But um, I think it's important because I am very well aware when I look at the mirror and I look me in the eye that I like myself. 
And I also am very well aware that when I enter the room, people notice me. And I like that. So I'm comfortable with that, but not everybody feels that way and not everybody is that type of persona. So you dress how you want to present yourself. So I think that's one of the things that I do, but everybody has a different personality and everybody has a different strengths. So what you present yourself, it should match to that, you know? Yeah. We don't want to put a woman that is shy in a clothes that will be like extremely extraordinary and very uh, attractive because she might not like that level of attraction or attention, but we want to find her a good match where she look at herself in the mirror, look herself in the eye and see, I like this, what I'm seeing. So at Time You Shine, mm -hmm. you'll help someone with that? Yeah, yeah? that's what we do, okay. that's what we do. So you help people kind of find who their, who their most comfortable self is, right? Yes, okay. yes. Because not everybody can pull off platinum blonde hair like you exactly. can, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. But we help the person to find what is her comfort with bringing attention, present herself. Another thing, entrepreneurs very often, and I go to so many networking events, have a business card and it has a name and it has a website. When I go to a networking event, I collect about 30 cards average. And then I go home, and if I didn't have time to write a note on that card, I don't remember what that person was. Yeah. Unless it's a specific industry that stood out, and I know this is landscaper, and he was telling me this joke. But we need to build these memory keys in the events to remember. Any networker, anybody, anybody who is in entrepreneurship should have their image on a card or something that marked them so they are memor memora they're, they're memorable. remembered, Mem memorable, memorable, or remembered, yeah. yeah. And it might seem cocky, but I put like a picture of me that I like because I want people to remember, oh, that's that girl, you know, Yeah. that's Marika. So use little tricks and tools. It's so much psychology that goes into any type of marketing and any type of image and presentation with any business and entrepreneurship, but use the little tricks that can help you to stand out, you know, so that's him. Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's excellent. You know, I think um, uh, it, it's easy to be conservative, you mm -hmm. know, in life. Uh, mm -hmm. When I grew up, uh, my father always told me to be conservative, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to be. Don't make yeah. a big deal of yourself and mm -hmm. everything. And I see what he, what he meant. Mm -hmm. I see what he meant. But if you're too conservative and you don't stand out a little bit, you do just kind of blend mm -hmm. in with everybody mm -hmm. else, you know. Mm -hmm. So you do want to set yourself apart. I love that idea of putting a little picture or something on your card mm -hmm. to identify you. Mm -hmm. That's the that is mm -hmm. really a great idea. Mm -hmm. So Marika, as we wrap up, the name of your business is Time You Shine. Mm -hmm. Reach you at timeyoushine.com. Correct. Can I find you on Facebook too? Yes, they can find me on a Facebook under name Shine. Shine. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just Shine. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and they will see the image, I just want to remind you, will see the image of two sets of eyes mm -hmm. because I think that's where our first communication happened, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, so they can find me that way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. All right. Yeah. So uh, Shine on Facebook and TimeYouShine.com. Uh, Marika Grantham, uh, makeup artist, esthetician, and psychotherapist. Uh, I don't know if she was analyzing me today while we were talking about it. <laughs> I'm sure it was fantastic, whatever she picked up. <laughs> so I want to thank you again. And Marika, really thank you. You were an excellent guest. Um, thank you for having me you're here. You're welcome. This is, this is great. Thank and, you. And you make a very good presentation. And I don't think you look, you look under 40. So I don't think anybody thought you were over 40. Uh, that's just me, though, but I don't think so. All right. So I want to thank you again for watching the Matt Lagore Show. If you ever want to reach, uh, reach me or get in touch with me, you can go to matt at mattlagore.com. You can also go to the Matt Lagore Show on Facebook. Uh, I put a lot of links up there on that page. I will put some links up to uh, Marika and uh, or to her Facebook page and to her business at timeyoushine.com. So again, I want to thank you for watching the Matt Lagore Show, and we'll see you next time.